Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. For today's lesson, can you copy into your maths book and you write the date as Monday 16 September. So this is data handling which is the second last chapter in mathematics. So why do we learn this chapter? First because this is the basic knowledge in the field of statistics. And then we're gonna learn how to collect data, how to organize data and how to represent data using certain types of representation. So the first thing that we have to know is how to collect data. There are four data collection methods. First is interview. Interview is when you, in you ask somebody about something so it's like one-to-one -one, um, talk. And then survey when you do uh, when you, when you have a list of question asked and then you wanna get data from that. Observation is when you look at something and then you try to get data from it. Example: If you sit uh, in front of a, a class and then you see how many students come early to the class or how many uh, leave late from the class. And then experiment this is what you did in the science subject. So this is the four data collection method, which is interview, survey, observation, and experiment. Okay now, there are two types of data. The first one is a categorical and the second one is numerical. It's very easy to differentiate. For categorical data, you cannot measure using numbers and for numerical data, you can measure using numbers. So these are the two types of data. Categorical, for example, if you have the gender of a person, colors of cars, flavors of sweets, blood groups and everything. Whereas for numerical data, for example, it will be the number of students getting A, number of books read in a week, the height of a badminton, so everything which is can be measured using numbers fall into numerical data. So the, it's easy to understand. Uh, once you can measure using numbers, it's numerical. If you cannot measure using number, it's categorical. Next will be frequency table. Imagine this is your data. So this is the data that shows the number of children in 20 families. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you got out 20 data. So this is what we call frequency table. First, you're going to label 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this the number of children will be um, in order. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the tell is very easy. You just count how many zeros you have. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you do the vertical uh, tally. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, for number 1, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So to represent 5, you do 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you slash to make it 5. Okay, look at number 2. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is already 5. So in order to have 6, you just add 1 here. So this becomes 6. So there are 6, uh, 2. And then we have how many 3s? Uh, 1, 2, 3. And then we got 2, uh, 4s. So the total will be 9 plus 15. So plus 6 will be 15. Plus 5 will be 20. So there are 20 data altogether. So this is what we call frequency table. So I'm going to give you a few exercises about this, which is um, the types the types of data which is uh, either categorical or numerical and also frequency table exercise so I, sh I shall see you next week